To solve this question, we first need to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions. And we can do that by multiplying the denominator to our mixed number, which will give us 4 times 1, which is 4, and then adding that number to our numerator. 4 plus 1 will give us 5 over 4. And then we can do the same thing to our other fraction. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15 over 6. And then we can multiply as normal. 5 times 15 in our numerator, and 4 times 6 in our denominator. In this case, we're able to split a couple of things apart to help with multiplication. 15 can be 3 times 5, and 6 can be 3 times 2. When we rewrite that, we'll have 5 times 3 times 5 over 4 times 3 times 2, and that will allow us to eliminate both of these 3s, leaving us with just 5 times 5 and 4 times 2. 5 times 5 will give us 25 in our numerator, and 4 times 2 will give us 8 in our denominator. Now we just need to simplify this improper fraction. How many times can 8 go into 25? That would be 3 times evenly. And if we look at all of our answer choices, there's only one possible answer where 3 is the mixed number, and that is going to be answer choice D, our correct answer. At that point, you can mark D and move on with the rest of the test, but for the sake of the video, I'll show you how we simplified. 3 times 8 would have given us 24. So we're subtracting 24 eighths, which would leave us with 1 eighth. 3 and 1 eighth, answer choice D.